managed to go one of the few like the who went to Harvard University. Then they faced all kinds of challenges and they started trying to build African Americans. I don't know how many of you, we, I worked in the United States, I studied in the US, and I remember when I was in my class in the physics, I used to do physics and maths in my university, not uh, this kind of thing. So there was no African American. So no, only I was the only black person in the class. So I said to the dean, Coleman, the dean, I called him, I'm the only person there. Why don't you have African Americans? So he unlocked a huge amount of resources where I used to go to Tennessee, Mississippi, and we created black serious uh, organization for black unity, and we started attracting many, many young African Americans to go to Ivy League universities where I went. It's a big university I went, mean, and that is what we used to do. Mainly, so this African American month was created by African Americans that they are African and they are proud kind of thing. So that has been done. And uh, last year we made a presentation on it. We had a PowerPoint and so on about it. But I like you to know about it because it's this month when we cut it, well, our, the genocide in, a, in the Second World War happened in Nansawa. And it's related to this. And the very important thing I must tell you is that the Global Alliance for Justice has been set up and supported and moved, uh, motivated by a very patriotic brother. He lives at the moment in Dallas, Texas. His name is Atoki Daniel Amayo. And this Global Alliance for Justice has been doing an amazing campaign on, on, on why there must still be justice for Ethiopia. What the Italians did was that they committed genocide and you know what they did? For the person who committed genocide, they built a statue for him. The mayor did. And some of the parliament people supported him. But we have very, very good also Italian brothers, religion, who genuinely believe the injustice is wrong. So they fought. And who, who I mean they fought for? They supported us, they joined us, Global Alliance for Justice, which Ato Mirani and Mayo is leading. And we are just people who support it. And the main idea is to make sure that Italy pays reparation for Africa, for Ethiopia. You know, the British still pay reparation for Kenya. Every year they give money for what they did. The normal. The Italians gave Libya 5 billion. For Ethiopia, nothing. The reason is because we Ethiopians have not organized ourselves and told them the injustice they did must be redressed. They haven't. I am lucky, I have very good friends, scholars, very distinguished scholars in Italy, and the current Prime Minister is also a professor. And we are also struggling with my professors, friends, to reach them. Uh, in fact, I go to Milan in uh, this uh, Horizon 2020 scholarship grant we have, and I'm joining them at Bokor University. I'm going to go and genuinely try to meet even the Prime Minister if I can get a chance. What we want to do is my, with my friends, Giovanni Dossi, uh, Roberto Mabila, Franco Malerba, I'm trying my best to make sure that Italy acknowledges, recognizes, and apologizes. The other one that must apologize sincerely apologize, is the Vatican. Of all the churches, I am proud that we have the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Our church, in her history, there may be some priests that may make mistakes, but the church as a whole in Ethiopia is very good. What did it do? In all the, the fighting, in all the resistances, it was part and parcel of the all the resistance and the struggles of our history. Without the church, we will not have these victories, even Adwa and everything. So we have a serious thing. What did the Vatican do? In the Second World War, when the troops of Italy came, the Vatican joined the fascist party, the Mussolini party. And the Pope 
okay? Blessed the weapons by using an Italian word, scan, scan, scan. The weapons that kills Ethiopians is holy, holy, holy. Now, they have not apologized. I thought Kidani Alamayo has been campaigning. Some of our Italian brothers in Italy have been campaigning. The Vatican has not listened to us until now, except for the first time, this current Vatican Pope, the first time he at least responded. He at least has written a letter saying, what is your case? So the presentation has to be made and the Vatican has to apologize. Serious apology. Not only should they apologize for us, but if you read the entire 500 history of slavery, the Catholic Church, the Catholic Pope, have always been involved. Very serious. If you take our church, look at our church history, it's clean. I don't see any, any problem with my church, by the grace of God. That church, the Vatican Church, the Catholic Church, I'm sorry if you're Catholic student, I'm not anti religion I'm not because, I'm not saying this because I am not for freedom of religion, no. It's because if you use religion to commit evil, it's not good. To commit crime, to say that the, for the Pope to say, holy, holy, holy. In Italian, scan, scan, scan. The weapons that kill our people, no, it's unacceptable. So the Vatican has to apologize, the Italians have to pay reparation. If they do that, then serious justice at least will come for all, also part of the justice. Like as we say, the, 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 the Emirate League has, should have a statue, we also demand that what happened to our, the people that were, the, were committed, committed genocide against them has to be redressed. For example, in our church, what did they do? They tried to win the church. The Italians were tried to win the church to join them. So they approached four bishops. Two of the bishops sided with them from our church. One was from the Eritrea, uh, Asari, I think, and another was also from the Tigray. But the two other ones, uh, you know, Abune uh, Petros, Abune Mikhail, they did it. For Abune Mikhail, you know how they did it? How they killed him? From an airplane, they threw him and killed him. 